Good evening. This is Johnny. Time to make a video. I was thinking about not making a video until, oh, I don't know. Monday tonight is a Sunday here in West Michigan. It is August the 5th. 2018. It is 9.03 at night here in West Michigan. It is hot. So we have the central air system blowing. I just turned it down to 70 degrees because it is still hot. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd make a video, of course. Uh, I've been kind of debating in my mind whether to show the books, the used books I got at the Friends of the Library used books out. Now, the other night I showed you the used books I got free for after we packed up what did not sell at the Friends of the Library used book sale. But the day of the Friends of the Library used book sale uh, was a Friday and those who know, I volunteer at the local library use bookstore. So I went in early, around 9 o'clock. Uh, Friends of the library members can come in at 9.30, from 9 to 10.30, and then the public can come in. So those who are Friends of the library, it costs $10 a year. For me, being a volunteer, I, I get a free membership. So, but I knew what was in the sale because I had set, I had helped set up and I had gone around and around and around. So I knew what I wanted. And so these are the books. Now I'm not gonna, I think I've shown some of those in previous videos, but I can't remember if it's a video I download or a video I didn't download. And so I just, these are just a random sample. And the reason why I'm doing this is I wasn't going to show these books because I like to be in the present moment. I don't like to go into the past and show books in the past. But this Friday, my wife and I are going to a big used book sale in South Haven. And I don't, and um, so I want to be up to date, you might say, and the books that we have collected for our library. First of all, what have I been reading? Well, today I, I read Seeing God, The Pacific Vision and Christian Tradition by Hans Borsma. Uh, I'm halfway through this. I'm find it thoroughly enjoying it and in intellectual stimulation. And yeah, so I'm doing that. And I got this book at the Book Nook. Um, Last Friday, this is a Tom Wolf who recently passed away. This is our, his, uh, they're like articles that he wrote for like Esquire, uh, different, uh, different magazines, newspapers. The, this, the, uh, this was uh, first published in 1965, so some of it's dated, but those who watch my videos know that I like the 60s. And so this is a collection of Tom Wolfe's articles, essays called Candy Colored Tangerine Flaked Streamlined Baby. Now I was really surprised because when I found this at the book nook, I th you know, I have almost all his books. And, but when I looked at the title, I said, I don't really think I have this one and I didn't. So I was really pleased to add this to my Tom Wolfe collection. So I've been reading these little essays as a break from heavy academic reading. And I've also been reading, rereading Jonathan Latham's book of essays, The Ecstasy of Influence. Uh, I am also reading uh, his novel Dissident Gar Gardens, Dissident Gardens. And uh, so I got this back out just because it just was on my mind. Uh, so yeah, so I got this out. So as far as my diary today, August of 2018, I ended on page 628. 
And tomorrow is August the 6th, 2018. I got that already, my diary. Tomorrow I, I volunteer at the Book Nook. I do that on Mondays and Fridays. So, but going back, these are the Friends of the Library used book sale. First day, what I got before I went to the Book Nook. I grabbed these in about 45 minutes. Because like I said, I knew what, what I wanted. First thing was, uh, this is by John Lair, Show and Tell, New Yorker Profiles. Those who watch my videos know I collect books on the New Yorker, New York writers who wrote for the New Yorker, books on the New Yorker, books about people who work for the New Yorker, things like that. So I got this. And then I found uh, Tennessee, this is a biography on the Tennessee Williams, uh, the famous playwright. Uh, this is Tennessee Cry, how's it go? Tennessee Cry of the Heart, an intimate memoir of Tennessee Williams by Dotson Radar, Raider. And then I found this, I like uh, eight uh, biographies on 18th century biographies or biographies of 18th century people and this is when it looked Never heard of this fellow, but then um, I was looking through that. It. It's called The Prince of Europe, The Life of Charles Joseph de Lenin by Philip Manzel. This is translated out of the French, I think. I think it's a trend. No, maybe not. Maybe it's not a translation. Anyway, as I was, oh, it says here, Philip Manzel who has lived and taught in Paris as one of Britain's leading historians. He is a fellow of the Royal Historical Society. But anyway, as I was looking for, looking through it, I noticed that he knew Castanova, and I read last year uh, the biography of Castanova, and I found his diaries a couple years ago. So I got that. And then I found in the Library of America, Lovecraft. This is H.P. Lovecraft Tales. It's really good condition. And then I found a biography on, this is a biography on Thomas Henry Huxley, who lived from 1825 to 1895. It's called Huxley from the Devil's Disciple to Evolution's High Priest by Adrian, Adrian Desmond. Uh, I like 19th century biography. He was a forerunner of Darwin and he was into natural science, natural history. And I have essays by him in our library. Then I found a biography on the uh, British writer Thackeray. Thackeray, Life of a Literary Man by D.J. Taylor. Thackeray wrote uh, Vanity Fair, the history of Henry Osmond, the Newcombs. He's a very famous British writer. I like reading biographies of British writers, 19th century, 20th century, 20, 21st century. I found the letters of Nancy Mitford. Love from Nancy, the letters of Nancy Mitford, edited by Charlotte, Charlotte Mosley. Those who watch my videos know I'm into Nancy Mitford and her novels, biographies. I just bought uh, her letters between Evelyn Wan and her. They were close friends. No, maybe I was wrong. I can't remember now. I think so. Yeah, I think she was friends, close friends with Evelyn Wan. And then I found a biography of Pick, Prick Up Your Ears, the biography of Joe Horton by John Lear. I have Horton's Diaries. I got this from the book nook several months ago, edited by John Lear. I have this already in hardback. This is by Sham, Salman Rushni, uh, uh, Joseph Etan, a memoir. I have this in the hardback, but I know I couldn't resist a little paperback. And then I found Burning Down the House, Essays on Fiction by Charles Baxter, The Gay 
Talley's reader, Portraits and Encounters. He's a journalist. He, uh, I have his autobiography. I, uh, it just looked interesting. I like reading books by journalists, <laughs> newspaper men. This is a novel called The Age of Consent by Jeffrey Wolf. Uh, this is a, this is uh, I got this in the, this is Man Ray who was an artist, photographer, painter in Paris. This is just from a exposition of his photographs and high modernism, uh, just things like that. I found this book also in the art section, Omega and After, Bloomsbury and the Decorative Arts by Isabel Anscomi. This is on the Bloomsbury group and how they decorated their houses, their interior, like that. And, um, you know, I collect books on the Bloomsbury. I got that. Bloomsbury. This is the collected stories of Louis Akaklas. I collect his novels, his short stories, biographies. This is the Literary History of Cambridge by Graham Cheney. This is Napoleon Bonaparte's Memoirs, edited by Somerset de Char with a preface by Michael Foote. Uh, I didn't know that Napoleon Bonaparte had a memoir. This is edited, obviously. It's not the complete me memoir of Napoleon. But uh, I have biographies of Napoleon, uh, books on the French history and the Neapolitan uh, Napoleon, so I got that. This is a, another book by Jonathan Rabin. I just showed you his book, Old Glory. They're like travel memoirs. This is him called Hunting Mr. Heartbreak, A Discovery of America by Jonathan Rabin. That's like a travel memoir. And this is Letters of Frank O'Connor and William Maxwell's Happiness, but I'm getting it downright. Frank O'Connor was an Irish writer. He came to America because he became a disfavor with the Irish Catholic authorities and he fled to America. And they were friends, they collaborated, where well, they shared their writings. Anyway, this is the letters. I have this already, so I'll take this to the book nook. So now, I got a clean slate. I think I've shown you most of the used books I got at the Friends of the Library book sale. Now, I haven't shown you the recent books from thrift store, <laughs> the thrift store books, but hopefully I won't get deleted or banned or suspended until I hope not because I'm really uh, want to keep making videos so these are the used books I got at the friends of library used book sale the first day these are the ones I paid for I think I paid $35 for all these so that's about it don't know what else to communicate tonight. I'll take these back down the lower level and try to find some place to put them. They've been sitting on the couch because I don't know where to put them. And my wife says, you gotta keep the couch clear. You gotta keep the bed downstairs clear. So, but I'll find, I'll find some place for them. And then I got these books Friday. I don't know, I might buy another 40, 50 books Friday. I don't know, this book sale in South Haven, we go to every year. I don't know, sometimes I just buy maybe 20 books. I, it's not as big as the one the Friends of the Library used book sale. But you never know what you're going to find. Just we find one interesting book, it's worth going. That's how I look at it. I like looking at books. Even though I'm not gonna, I might not buy anything, I just like looking at them all. Because I'm a bookworm, what else? So, 
I'll sign off. Put these books down to lower level. Hoping you're having a good night. I'll sign off. Like I said, this is a Sunday night here in West Michigan. It is now 918. And yeah, so I hope you have a good new week. And maybe I'll make a video tomorrow night. I'm not really sure. So, goodbye.